pacing, terrible execution. But here we go. We got the Battle of the Princesses over here. Cody up against ETN. Peach and Zelda. And I know Cody got to just not kind of let ZTN play that game that he's also good at, which is playing on that defensive, keeping the walls out in progress. But, ooh, Cody still just has to get... Oh, oh my god, actually. No, this is ZTN dominantly taking that first stock. So, uh, hmm. This... People might... I, okay, I can't blame Cody this much for her, like, this stage pick, but... Triplats are not a bad stage for Zelda. Like, I wouldn't say, like, she has an insane advantage here, but, like, and I get it, like, you know, you can safely avoid Phantom, but she has other advantages going on here, like you saw that juggle just now, but also things like teleport cancels being, like, you know, very prominent for Zelda here. Oops. And, yeah, you know, like, looks like Cody got the first stock, but you can see just how, like, you know, good Zelda's advantage state is in this, uh, stage. Um, again, and I would say, like, you know, it's still, like, uh, not a bad choice against her, but just don't expect this to be, like, free still. And, and be aware of, like, you know, th that this Sega stage gives, like, you know, her certain uh, ups. Yeah, I would even say just recovering in general on this stage. Oh, my God, Stitch Face, by the way. Um, it's going to be kind of hard for Peach to come back against Zelda. Due to just Zelda being able to kind of plop down the night and cover all the reactions. And you're going to be stuck on platform even if your Peach Bomber hits. So you might even hold an up air for your troubles. So Z ZTN taking that second stock. But I know that Cody is definitely looking to clap back. You can see him fiending for the Peach back air. The down tilt, it's the, the forward air as well. But ZTN still fighting to hold on to the stock currently. What the? All right. Last stock. Yeah, keeping things nice and even here. Cody looking to get an up air juggle started. Still equipped with a turn up in hand. And DTN over here playing on the defensive with the Knights. Trying to find this one opening, trying to get some solid damage. Throwing in a, a little Din's fire in there for the mix. But okay, Cody able to get one stray, another one leading into a tech chase, and that's gonna put DTN in the corner here, trying to kick out with the twinkle toes, but it is not gonna work. You can't be mashing on Cody out here. Whoa, the powerful tomahawk. Oh. Almost had to call out, but still, we run it back. To the ledge you go. Cody maintaining phenomenal control, catching the jump from ZTN, making sure that ZTN does not lay in here. And there you go, closing out this no first game here. Kill, uh, screen. No, was there even kill sparks? No, I think we saw some kill sparks. I saw Katy Perry. Yoshi. Would you go Yoshi personally? How do you feel about Yoshi? I know you're, you're surrounded by Yoshi, so you love Yoshi. If I say what I want to say, I'm going to get the stream banned. So say no. it right now. You know what I've said about Yoshi before. I've said it like in the uh, like, uh, Mix It Mash uh, channel. Is it going to get you on a watch list? It's not going to get me on a watch list. It's just going to get this like entire channel taken down if I say it. Like, I feel like worse has been said. I'm not going to lie. 
uh, I've got some words about Yoshi that I'd like. Uh, <laughs> Is this how you feel about Lucario too? Anyways, um, game two, we are going to Hollow Bastion. Um, right now, Cody has a, a, is at a bit of a deficit, but and get, eats the tinkle, uh, Twinkle Toast like uh, immediately. I bet you Cody's definitely liking those light-up sketchers. Oh, there's the second one going off right now. Definitely looking to get frame trapped just a little bit from these up airs, which I know ZTN definitely has those odd lock catching a lot of these jumps that we've seen previously. Making but Michael Bay uh, tear up with those explosions. I was definitely a huge fan of this, but I know Cody definitely not wanting any of that business right now. Still looking to come back. Pulls a turn up, but still to no avail. Is not able to come in. ZTN getting a solid forward throw off, and now you got to be holding this free as ledge trap here. Okay. Oh, yeah. A little too much, but impressing won't allow him to uh, get that uh, punish on the uh, teleport. Yep. I have to say, seeing uh, so many raw teleports and even getting hit by one or two myself, like, uh, because of ZTN, has been a humbling experience. I used to get hit by those on Elite Smash and think, no way offline those ever land. <laughs> <sighs> it, it, it's the it's the, the offline, online mix-up. The thing that you'll... No, what the heck? Ah, well, that's whack. The thing that you may never expect... But then when you get hit by it, and then you're just like, what the, what the hell? Hollow Bastion is not small enough for me to, like, uh, be as critical um, about uh, letting uh, Zelda go here. But even still, it, eh, I it's in a similar vein as Smashville, basically, right? Yeah. It's it's still, like, oh my a God. bigger. Oh, my God. Yo! Couldn't quite get the down air. Off in that tech stage situation, but if ZTN got that off, it would have been so so nasty. And oh look, one of those raw teleports that you've been kind of that you were talking about before. <laughs> there you go. Cody's gonna get a lot of mileage off of punning, punishing these jumps from ZTN, but it, it's kind of a a 50-50 trade. I feel like. You get Twinkle Toad, or maybe you get you Sour Spot fared. All right, Cody's definitely playing like this matchup, like you know how you're supposed to play. But oh, I don't know if it, th this deficit, like you know, you can work with that. At like, I think you need something a little different. Oh, oh, and oh, we're playing up, oh, catch out here. Hot potato. Oh, mama. I think this is, Cody's just playing to the right tempo now, slowing it real down, using those turnips to make sure ZTN suffers when they throw out the night. And Oos, look at the empty hop there, the mix, and Oos, no tech city. Oh, wait, we're taking that one, though. Uh oh, not dead. Yeah, fake ass skull screen. Okay. Oh! Yeah, no. Opposite side of the screen, up airs, not gonna do it. Still, still scrambling. Get this last one here. Cody's only taking a smidge more percentage from that 96. If Cody he, like finds a way to close out the stock, he's getting a bomb on. Watch. Oh my god. There you go. Dash tag taking it. I I also like how Cody's throwing in a lot of too many rolls. Uh, Decayed it and just like. I, was playing it mad weird in general, like around that, that fandom. Yeah, I mean, I think it was an interesting idea to start mixing in a lot of those um, overshoot shields. But at that point, with the percentage that you're rolling with, you really kind of don't want to have the risk of getting blown up by a phantom or something that Zelda can throw out at you. You were doing so good with the terms before, playing from a distance, getting your damage up, making Co um, GTN kind of commit to what they were doing beforehand but we are gonna run it back to battlefield which it is kind of even playing field for both of these characters yeah oh oh my wow. god oh my god you're triggered i want to be so angry about that but <laughs> like I, the fact that that was like such a hard call out on like e e yeah i know you're gonna uh, you think you're safe like all the way over on that platform picking up your turn and thinking you can get your game started immediately fuck you 
Yeah, no, that, that was wild from ZTN. The ah. to just throw out that raw up B to get the damage off, not knowing Cody was going to go for just the drop down immediately. But like, okay. Imagine, like, Cody just decides, you know what, screw it. I, 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 like, uh, I'm going to wait for a second. Okay, like, that gets shielded. You're, you're, you're shielding against Peach. He, he, like, sorry, you're, you're like, get, you're in punished, like, you know, uh, range for Peach. You're eating, like, some fat damage for that, oh. like, gigantic, uh, for that, like, you know, big-ass play. And yet, here we are. ZTM with a decent lead right now. Yeah, still having to dance around the Phantom and all the, the lightning kicks kind of coming out. Yeah, and he's lost. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Cody's still got it. Definitely looking to trap the, the, the attempt to come out from the corner here. But DTN makes their mark, forcing Cody into the corner. Now having to come out of this situation. It's going to be a little scary, but the Phantom just locking Cody in. You still got to come back with this that, uh, hard ZTN. party mini game. I'm very surprised DTN didn't just trap uh, Cody there. Oh, 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 now this is scary. Oh, wow. Just gets the the wrong spot of Din's fire, just missing it. Hitting every time, allowing Cody to hang around for a little while longer. Yeah. Gets uh, crossed up and uh, oh! is for uh, steel grabbing in the wrong direction. Oh, misses the conversion off the of bear, and yeah, that's, that's tough. That's tough. I can't believe the down smash doesn't poke shield like that. Uh, yeah, it's a little surprising, but you know what? I'm never going to uh, condone shield poking. I think it's a terrible ass mechanic, but that's uh, me. It's kind of what you got to go for, honestly. I know there's, there's quite a few players out there that that's like a, a, oh, a core part of their gameplay pretty much. You know what? I could say even I like you know incorporate just a smidge of like you know shield open fishing because like uh, Sephiroth wears down shields enough that Fair will catch like you know certain heads. But I, I imagine like you want the shield pressure so you can like just chip it out so you can just get an eventual shield break if you um, are putting a lot of pressure on them. Yeah, that would make them not shield, but you know. Get it oh oh but my god! I'm not playing Sephiroth right now. I'm play we are watching a. Uh, no. Cody so versus uh, ZTN, and oh, that was definitely scary for Cody, though, for ZTN, though. No one likes dealing with uh, Saturn. Especially the way he, he like, you know, stays ever so present if he doesn't get thrown off stage. Just wandering around, Ooh. terrorizing. Yeah, but a very strong Nair. Gonna yep. shut down that stock from ZTN. And now Cody still equipped with the turn. Oh, no. No no turn up in hand. Now it's ZTN's turn. Wasn't well, able to get quite a combo started, but still looking to trap Cody in the corner here. But Cody landing the down air, looking to trap on the platform. Wasn't able to get a whole lot off, but they do make a good retreat to the corner. And this time, shielding that raw up me. Do not be fooled, Cody. This is the game that you have to play. But, oh. ZTN calling Cody out in the turn up pool with a very good up beam. I know yep. you don't like them, but that was, that was pretty good. It was a, it, it was a valid up beam. And now it's the one that would make yeah. you kind of think twice before you plucking turn ups. And the forward air is going to do the job there. The crown is super strong. I knew that she's royalty. Yo, banger song. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, oh we are oh starting off with the this bitch, please. Yo, all right, nah. Who who put this on? Who put this song on? The old yeah. Moving through, through your, your mind. mind. Ooh, looks, looks like, like it came back from more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. Um, yeah, I already know Cody can definitely feel it right now from that phenomenal starter getting the stitch face as well. And look at this trap on the platform. ZTN was able to get off the sour spot, but you can't escape Raccoon Cody out here trapping all these air dodges. Looking to put an end to the stock. See, you can't even end your turn yet. I'm still in control here, locking it down. Oh. Grab sucks moment. Yeah, I see ZTN trying to go for a shield break or maybe even a shield poke there. Wasn't able to get it, but Cody still hanging around, trying to get the stock. The neutral air, not going to take it there, but it is going to on that attempt as well. And now, this I would say this is a, a pretty damn good lead. Once Absolutely. Co yeah, once Cody is able to find his way out of the corner, which he does, able to get 10% off. He's definitely looking to get a turn up combo here. How did I not realize that Peach and Zelda have the same dash attack, basically? Yeah, they do pretty much. Except Zelda's is kind of better. Would you? Yeah? No? It's like a little better. That's a nasty trap. Yeah, that was a nice trap. Uh, I would mostly just say because I think it comes out fast. I would, I would have to look that up on frame data, but my phone is dying. Trying to get that trapping going on very strong. Okay, lightning kick gonna allow ZTN to start playing that phantom game, play on the defensive. But ooh, losing these interactions because you're kind of opting to go for the scrap against Cody, something you kind of don't really want to do when they can blow you up like that. Oh. Good call out. All right, we are down to the last stop. Can ZTN close this out for a game five? or is Cody ending it here and now? Yeah, you can see that ZTN knowing that they're definitely on their last stock and maybe even their potential last game is playing hot on this defensive right now, but tries to go for the run to just get a little bit of damage on. You do have the 12% from the Nair, but you really need to find your big starter here. And that's kind of what Cody's looking for in the same vein. Just one opening that Peach can do to just blow you up. But still, ZTM making a very strong case for trying to win this game four here. Uh oh. Yeah, trying to trap ZTM, able to make it through that pressure as well. But okay, Cody, get in the 50 50 there. And still holding all these back airs, trying to even up these percentages. But the Twinkle Toes is going to take this game for Cody reeling back just a little bit at that frustration from that loss of the game. Or ZDN lives in another game. He's hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Okay, okay. We're going for the slow melancholic Xeno Blade. All right, I hear it. Here it is. Engage the enemy. It is quite the finale to this exciting game five here. Still going back to battlefield here. And I already know that ZTN has kind of solidified their plan. Like you said before, Rose definitely a down loader. Likes to play on that defensive in like the last kind of tense situations, but can definitely find their openings and get some very solid traps on these platforms. But Cody, Cody is the combo king, especially with that dot eye turn up. One touch is all you need from this character, and it'll blow you away. But 
ZTN playing real strong here, but Cody still making things quite even. Absolutely. These two are scrapping Oof. right now, and maybe to Cody's uh, detriment because, uh, yeah, you don't want to be within the range of the lightning toes. Yeah, those light up sketchers, they ate just for show. And now, Cody able to find their way inside of Zelda's range. Wasn't able to get the forward air to rock there, but still has to trap this platform, has to take the stock from ZTN to take out any kind of momentum. Yeah, no, ZTN still not wanting to give this up. Playing on the defensive is what you're going to have to do there. That's the name of the game here. I know Cody wants that run back against Quid. Yeah, DI'ing the up B is going to net them that forward air for the stock. Yep. Now Cody pressing a few buttons, trying to get it going together. But ZTN's gameplay has been looking so tight this game five. The game plan has kind of just all come together. And, and, pen and penetrating ZTS defense. Able to get two solid up airs for their troubles, but it's not enough. You need a real big combo starter, and the Knight is not going to do you any favors here. Having to just go up against the ledge. ZTN Def still just looking to trap, and that get up attack, what are you swinging for, my good sir? There we go. Solid empty hop. Get the forward throw rocking. Yeah. Cody definitely wants to try and keep ZTN here as long as possible, but ZTN kind of just worms his way out immediately. Yeah, and you can't get lazy with these Peach Bombers here. I know Cody was definitely gunning for a, a, a trade off the night at the very most, but you just got to play a lot slower against ZTN's game here. And again, I don't think this battlefield pick kind of does any favors when you're playing against Zelda because, like, even if you're trying to snipe out the knight with these turnips, it may just get stuck on the platform and kind of just thwart that whole attempt there. But let's see if Cody can make this magic happen. We have seen it before, playing down from last stock percentage kind of like this. Oh, Cody's far from out of this, especially because he's about to close out this last stock. But oh, unless ZDN can, like... Do something about it now, and he Yo, does. Yo, wel welcome to Commentator's Curse. You're a real commentator now. <laughs> how, how does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel? <laughs> how does it feel? You're a real commentator now.